Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Jamie, Farnsworthy Vending. Listen, so while everyone was out at Vegas having a blast, I actually had made plans to go to PAX East in Boston. So today, I'm gonna show you some vending machines I saw in Boston, Mass at PAX East. It was a flippin' blast. Now the first thing I wanna show you guys is I happen to roll across a couple of old school arcade machines with Street Fighter 2 and Miss Pac-Man. My brother actually went up against this kid that looked like he was really good at it and he demolished that kid. It was pretty awesome, it was a whole lot of fun. I love seeing those old things and it actually like still had the quarter max and everything. It was programmed for free play, but it was just wicked, wicked awesome to see something like that. I really enjoyed it overall, and it was just a really big deal to me. Now, something I saw there that I thought was pretty interesting, and I haven't actually seen in a lot of places before, there was actually a lottery vending machine. Now, those are illegal in my state. I can't, we can't have them in the state that I'm from, so when I see them in other states, it's pretty neat. Uh, and it's kind of cool how some sorts of vending are totally fine in one state but then you go to a different state and it's not okay at all but here's the clip of that real quick I'm gonna be one of your presenting girls. So this is the first time I've seen this it's a lottery vending machine can't even tell what the bill acceptor is that's interesting. Something else that I thought was really, really cool, but I think Pepsi did this. Like, I think, I think Pax got a hold of Pepsi, and they're just like, hey, we need a whole bunch of vending machines on this weekend. And uh, Pepsi was like, yeah, cool, let's do this. And they literally brought all the machines in on the pallets and left them on the pallets. I mean, it's smart. You bring them in, put them on the pallets, and just let them go. But uh, here's a clip of that really fast. Hey guys, check this out. This is straight up just on a pallet. Man. So we're here at PAX East for something for our other channels, right? And it just so happened that we came across this bad boy right here. And what I think is nuts about this is they left it right on the pallet. They got a Nyax reader. I'm kind of curious. They got G Fuel, Mountain Dew. This is all Pepsi stuff, Game Fuel, Mountain Dew stuff. Three dollars. Man, what's a can of Mountain Dew? Two dollars. Two dollars for a can of Mountain Dew. For all of you guys that have been following me for a really long time, you know that three dollars for a Mountain Dew, or two dollars for a can of Mountain Dew, think of the profit margin on that, that's stupid high. And I can't stop looking at the wrong lens. Now, after I saw that, I saw a cup. well, one machine in particular that was so interesting. Like, so you guys have seen the tattoo machines, right? Like, I'm sure a lot of you guys actually have like little uh, 75 cent tattoo machine. It looks like kind of like a dome or something like that. Well, someone had taken, like they had this whole big area for cards and stuff. And someone had taken one of those machines in a vendor and uh, turned it into a Magic the Gathering Pokemon. I can't remember what the other one was, but he had turned it into all this. And it was just, it was the coolest thing in the world to see. And I actually, I got a little bit of footage of it, but uh, heads up, the audio is a little bit distorted on this clip because it was so loud in there. <laughs> Look at this. They got a quarter machine. Pokemon, magic, the stuff you see at PAX, that's epic. So towards the end of everything, my brother and I decided he wanted to go get someone's signature, uh, someone's autograph or something, which was totally fine. 
So I wanted to test out one of those NIAX readers because most of the machines in my area just don't have them and I've never actually used one. So I decided I was going to be like, okay, this is going to be my first time using a NIAX reader. And uh, in the process of using it, like I, I got it on film but the audio is just so messed up. You guys can see the B-roll right now, but in the process of using it, I could not for the life of me actually get the darn thing to work. We sat there and we tried over and over and over again, and it just would not give me a drink. I think in the end of things, it was because the machine was probably empty. So we went and tried out a different machine overall, and it wound up working when I wasn't recording, go figure. But uh, the NIAX reader is a pretty simple, easy process. Uh, you put it in, make your selection, you're good to go. I thought that was pretty neat. With that being said, I had confirmed at that point that every single vending machine in there was legitimately on a pallet. So they literally just took pallet jacks, rolled them all in, then when they're done, I'm sure they're just gonna take pallet jacks and roll them all out and put them somewhere else. After everything was said and done, on the way home, we decided to uh, stop and get some gas at this uh, big gas station place. And this place actually had like a little, little thing that said vending on it. So I went in and checked that out and I came across, uh, I've never seen an AMS machine before. Like they're just not in my area very much. And it was really cool to see one for the first time. So here's some footage of that. On my way home from the trip and I saw this, I just had to get some, ooh. The Sense It. Dixie Narco? No, I think that might be Royal. I don't see a credit card reader on it. That's kind of silly in a location like this. There's no credit card reader on any of these. Oh man, these guys are silly. Solid machines though. Alright, time to get back on the road. And when that was all done, there was this gigantic, I think it was a wizard gumball machine that was in the same place and it was just the coolest thing in the world to see. I really enjoyed the trip there, it was just so much fun overall. Now guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys are here at 5pm Eastern Standard Time on Friday for our live stream. We're going to be doing some work in Vensoft and just general discussion overall. Uh, I'll be answering questions, stuff like that, and I will be doing this every Friday, so if you guys need to get in and try to figure out how Vensoft works, let me know. Uh, we'll hook up on a Friday and have you come in on the live stream, and you guys can watch as I go through everything. But all right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This is Jamie, Farnsworthy Vending out. Remember to love life and live your dreams. Peace.